Over the past 12 years, I have been privileged to PhD student number 58 of Professor Cover become Professor Cover become Tom. Indeed, learning under Tom's tutelage is the best thing that has, and I'm sure will have ever happened in my academic life. As Yanni said, I mean, everybody's interaction with Tom has been quite individual and perhaps very unique, but there might be something universal. So in the following, I'll share my thoughts and probably many others' thoughts on what it has been like being a cover student. And I'll try to sample some of the acknowledgments from cover students' PhD thesis. So usually, our interaction starts with stimulation. Here is from Chris Eager's thesis, I am deeply grateful, mostly for stimulating my brain cells. And once you get excessive stimulation, then you get infected. So here is from Swasti Gabi. Tom's excitement for new ideas and his great sense of aesthetics are infectious. And if you are over-infected, then in the end, you get enlightened. So Tom's spirit is like a light that shines brightly and illuminates all that is around it. It has been an honor and privilege to find myself in this light and to gain from it in the very small measure that I'm capable of some enlightenment. This is from Don Kimber. And as somebody said, what really likes about, I mean, I like about Tom is, of course, he's a brilliant person, the best researcher, but at the bottom of it, he was really the best person you ever interact with. So here is one from Arx Devon. Without Tom's willingness to take a chance with me early on in my PhD career, none of this would be possible. Tom has given me unparalleled opportunities for learning, thinking, and self-discovery. Perhaps what separates Tom from most is in the gracious manner with which he treats all his students and the commitment he has for them. His confidence and trust in his students never waver, even in the toughest of times. His personality is an unusual mix of both mathematical rigor and jazz-like spontaneity. I recall when I took his information theory classes, how any question or challenge from a student was met with a rolling up of the sleeves and an extemporaneous attempt to solve the problem. Usually, once ideas are set in a textbook, they fossilize, but Tom kept bringing them back to life with combining them to make conjectures and answer off-the-cuff questions. It was as though the class was merely a pretext for engaging in true research. He inspired me. Here is from Joshua Singer. He has been a teacher and a role model for me, providing an example of how insightfulness, elegant presentation, delight in discovery, and generosity and tact can lead to both professional and personal success. I am sure I did not adequately take advantage of what he had to offer, but I am equally certain that without him, I would have emerged from my years of study as a less capable and creative researcher and as less humane individual. This is from Real Equits. And this is from myself. When I came to Stanford with little mathematical background and confidence, my advisor, Tom Cover, told me, if you want to sing, you can sing. This is a typical of you know, his style of talking. You, know, you never understand what he's talking about. <laughs> Well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, open the door for me. From inspiring classroom, classroom lectures and lively Wednesday round robins, from never-ending office discussions to intermittent fresh air breaks, that means that he needs to smoke. Please. <laughs> His mentorship has shaped the way I read, the way I write, the way I talk, and the way I think. Tom Coward told me how to sing, which I am forever grateful. Thank you, Tom.